Hey guys, welcome back to Save With Me, Angelica here. Today I'm going to be sharing some tips and tricks at the grocery store, specifically in the seafood department. So I'll keep it brief because it's something that uh, is super important to bring up, but I don't want to spend too much time on it because maybe some of you guys know about it. So in the seafood department, everything that's behind the counter, the glass counter that seems that is fresh was actually previously frozen a lot of times. So if you're not sure, you can ask, but it typically says on the, uh, the labels that it was previously frozen. And it makes total sense because some stuff like Branzino, it's European sea bass, so it comes from Europe. Greece, Turkey, different places like that. And in order to get here and be fresh, it has to be frozen. Stuff that's maybe local might not be, but most grocery stores, it is all frozen. Uh, the shrimp, it's frozen. The um, Even like the crab meat a lot of times is frozen because it needs to like maintain freshness and then they put it out and they don't keep it out in those counters very long but here's the tip about how to save money so because stuff has to be moved out of the case pretty often there's a lot of waste so if you want to save money go to the frozen section it's the same stuff that they're putting behind those glass doors and here are the benefits you can put it in your freezer and then you can make it whenever you want it so stuff like bear mundi um, it's like an australian fish it's so good and we just recently bought it frozen. It's actually hard to find fre uh, well, fresh uh, in the counters at the grocery store because I've called around several places, but it's a fish that goes with everything. And I bought it frozen and you just defrost it the night before and you just thaw it in the fridge. They say to remove the film around it and then you can place it um, with sealed with some saran wrap while it's defrosting. You can even marinate it during that time, but it saves you money and this is why when they put it out in the counter, like I mentioned before, they can only keep it out for a certain amount of time before it gets wasted and they have to toss it just because of the length of time that it survives. So you can get it cheaper in the frozen section because they don't have to make up for that loss of money. The other thing is you can put it in the freezer and then you can enjoy it when you want. I don't know if you guys are like me, but when I bought it from the counter fresh, I feel like you have to make it that day or the next day. And by buying it in the freezer, or in the freezer section, you can just have it for dinner whenever you like. So I always buy my shrimp this way, always. And a lot of the fish I do, unless I want to make like a whole fish, and then I'll go to a fish, a seafood market, and I'll buy a whole fish, and then I'll ask them to scale and de-gut it, and then I make a whole fish like I'm going to show you guys today. And I bought that yesterday, and then I cooked it yesterday. So um, it's really, you want to do it as soon as you have it to get the most fresh fish but it was previously frozen because it came from turkey the branzino so just a fun tip for you guys on how to save money and with the shrimp i always wait till there's like a huge sale and then i buy a bunch of shrimp not too much just enough that like i try to rotate everything in my freezer every three months so i buy enough that would be you know for dinners and such for the next three months and then i'll look for another sale and then buy more and by doing that, I have it whenever I want it. So with the shrimp specifically, if I pull it out, I can put it in a, a bowl of cold water, maybe like 15, 20 minutes before I want to cook it. And I just run cold water over it or just let it sit. You just have to keep placing the cold water every couple minutes for like 15 minutes and then it's done. And then you can cook it up however you like on the grill, on the stove. There's so many options for that and it's delicious. And it's the same exact shrimp that you'll find behind the counter at the seafood market. So there's a fun little tip for you guys. Let me know if you guys have heard about that before, but it saves so much money and also it prevents you from wasting stuff at home because when you pull it out of the freezer, you know you're going to make it that day versus getting it from the store. You think you might make it, but what if your plans change? What if life happens? You know, so just a fun little tip. So I'm about to show you guys how to cook a whole fish. It seems totally scary. It seems odd, but if you guys are like me from Maryland, it, I kind of compare it to eating crabs. You know, of course you can just buy crab meat that's already de-shelled, but where's the fun in that? So to make it easier, sure. But when you just want to sit around and you want to enjoy the food and the experience, you get crabs and then you, you um, break them apart and eat all the meat from inside. So fish is similar. So when we went to Italy, my husband and I went to Italy recently, we had never had whole fish before. At the time, I just thought it was like, why would anybody want to do that? Like, I just didn't understand it. But we're like, hey, we're in Italy once. We were in Venice and they say to get the fish there. So 
we bought a fish and it was like a whole experience. We got to split the fish and share it and you had to pick around the bones and it was just such a fun experience. It sounds so odd, but we loved it. So yesterday I kind of wanted to reminisce about our travels since we can't travel right now. And it was such a nice dinner. We had the Branzino and I stuffed it with delicious flavors that are very simple so from our garden and i will go through that in the video coming up it's super quick easy probably took like five minutes to prep it and then 20 to 25 minutes in the oven and it was done and perfect so if that interests you guys stay tuned to watch how i make my francino so here i have some oregano i'm just gonna peel off all the leaves Once you have all the leaves taken off, just bunch them up and then just chop them. I just had these whole garlic here. If you don't have whole garlic, you can also use minced garlic. I just find that the minced garlic that you find in the jars, you should use more than you think you need because it's a little less potent. But with this, I just took each ball skin off of it and then I just use the side of my knife to press down to flatten it out and just opens it up. I'm taking really thin slivers of butter here. I use an Irish butter but any butter works. Mine was unsalted just because that's what I had but a salted kind would work well as well. I didn't have any lemon slices which I prefer to use so I just use a little bit of lemon juice and I put it all around the fish and then I'm just stuffing with all the ingredients. The oregano, the butter, the garlic, and I took some olive oil and I also put on there with some salt. You could also use the salt inside the cavity before adding all those items. So now you just set, make sure your oven was set for 375 and you can bake it for 20 to 25 minutes just until right, right as it's just getting flaky and that's how you know it's cooked. So mine was a pound and a half of fish and it took about 23 minutes. Here it is all finished. It's beautiful. You can split it in half and put it on a plate for somebody else and one for you. Or what my husband and I did, we just shared it on a nice fish plate because fish tastes better on a fish plate. That's it. So that's how you make a whole fish. Let me know if that's something that you guys would ever want to try. It's super simple and easy and it's just a really nice fun date night or even you'd be surprised how many people in your family probably would like to have whole fish. Something new to me but now it's going to be a common staple in my household just because it's so fun and delicious. Alright, well I hope you guys are having a beautiful day and thanks for tuning in. Make sure you like and subscribe this video if you enjoyed what I had. I come to you guys with tons of saving tips. A lot of the stuff is cooking or travel related or just in general how to save money in your day-to-day -day life. So stay tuned for more. Bye!